Okay, you guys, keep your heaters handy and keep a lookout. We got another game to look at. Stick around. <laughs> Old Man Grognar back, and just a minute. There we go. And I'm back with another role-playing game. Another oldie but goodie called Gangbusters. This is put out by TSR in 1982 as a box set. But they re-released it in 1990, around the time they were releasing 3rd Edition, and for some reason called it 3rd Edition. But it's actually a 2nd Edition. And that came out in 1990, and that's what that looks like. Now, I have the box sit here. This is what it looks like. And this is what's in it. First of all, the rule book, which mine is kind of beat up, but it gets me by. Also, <clears throat> this little book here gives you the districts of the fictional city, Lakefront City, read Chicago. And inside is a uh, kind of a solo adventure that you can, it's actually a solo adventure you can run, run through uh, like four players through, um, more or less. It's called Mad Dog Johnny Drake. And it gets, it gets pre-gen stats from four players there. And you've got a nice little map inside showing the, uh, you know, like the trains and, the, and such of the city. So, what, what else do we have? We also comes with a nice big map of a typical few blocks of Lakefront City that you can use. And a sheet of counters, which have been might have been punched a long time ago. So, But that's what comes in the box. Now, this system was written by Rick Krebs and Mark Akers. They did a bang-up job. <clears throat> the second edition, the paperback, is 148 pages. That is because <clears throat> it includes additional materials, which I'll get into in a minute. The art, most of it, practically all of it, is Jim Holloway's art, which is, he's one of my favorite TSR guys. So, and, <clears throat> now the system is a percentile rule system, meaning you use D10s. Uh, either a D10 or 2D10, and you're basically rolling under a stat. Um, they've got they've got basic stats in here. Uh, I don't have uh, any example right here, but I do have a sh I can show you what the book looks like. This is the paperback, the re the reissue, and uh, it's a very clean two column uh, format. There's a little character creation. We've got a skill system. Now skill is really percentile under the skill. Boom, you're done, and you did it. So this thing is really, is really, really simple to play. You've got muscle, you've got punching, you've got driving, which is very important. It does have a nice, uh, here's, so, here's some of the equipment you can get, including guns. Also has uh, a chase and a vehicle combat system, which doesn't look all that hard. I kind of ad lib those things anyway. Um, this is talking about what, what it's like in the 30s and 40s, or excuse me, 20s and 30s, during Pro Prohibition and after the Depression. Um, here's part of the, uh, the uh, supplemental material in the uh, reissue. Now, and here's a picture of the, this is what the map looks like folded out. Now, I told you they had supplemental material in the second issue, in second edition. Well, what they did was, <clears throat> the first module they put out for, for Gangbusters is called Trouble Brewing. And it's not so much a module as a sandbox. And what it does, it basically flushes out Lakefront City. Gives you NPCs, businesses, who's running what or whatever. And the second, edi the second edition, the printed edition, put it out, put, included this in it. So if you had the it would really behoove you to get, get a hold of Trouble Brewing also. This was written by Tom Moldley, by the way. Now, the system itself, I've told you it's percentile classes. What you have, you can play FBI agent, a reporter, policeman, prohibition agent, or criminal. That takes a wide, you know, that's kind of casts a wide net on it. But 
in the book, in the box set and the other book, they lay it out for you. They will show, I mean, Mark and Rick really did their homework on this because it gives you a great snapshot of those times as far as like what your character does, what can you earn, um, talks about corruption in politics and in the police force. It talks about, and the criminals, it says criminal there, but it also has charts and tables showing you how much you make for contracts, how much you make uh, bookmaking, numbers racket, you know, bootlegging, all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to be just a criminal. Uh, loan sharking, they got that in there too. And they really do a good job. Um, <clears throat> I, When I first got this, I got this a long time ago, and I, I always called it the greatest game I never played because I couldn't get anybody to play, play it with me. Um, that's, I've rectified that. I've ran a few and I'm going to be running some more in, in future conventions. Um, and I don't know why, but it's just, it's it's a fascinating, I love it. I love it. When I first got it, I'd go, well, these are tables and stuff on how to make money and what you're doing and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, where's the where's the meat of it? And I found out it was Trouble Brewing that has like, you know, the NPCs. That's what I was looking for. NPCs, adventurers. I didn't know what I was doing back in the day because I didn't know how to, I mean, it tells you how to run it, but it's like I kind of, it kind of went, sorry, kind of went over my head. But now I understand it better. Um, the only thing that really kept me from running it at the beginning was the fact that this game doesn't exactly encourage party cohesion. In fact, you can put a problem in front of a group of players, and you may have half law enforcement and half criminal working at at cross purposes or not meeting. So I didn't want to, you know, they always say don't split the party in D&D, &D, but this kind of, you know, you got to go, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We're going to focus on you. We're going to focus on, and I was going like, oh my God, how do you do this? Well, one way to do it is to say no criminal player characters. That's one way to do it. But some people don't find that very much fun. In fact, you know, I wouldn't. You can play an all criminal game. I've seen those happen. Um, but I guess if you do the, the mix, you can, it, it'll work. I've done it. I mean, I've done, I've done, mostly my games have been all law enforcement. Um, because, <laughs> because it's easier for me to keep track of and I just have to do damn much fun playing the criminals. <laughs> <laughs> really I do but it's a it's a fun game I can I encourage you to find this game and play it it is a ball in fact I may be re-reviewing this in my other series um, old man grognar reviews because my friend Mark Hunt has gotten permission from Rick Krebs who got the rights back from War Wizards of the Coast who inherited them from TSR and he got the rights back, but he is not in a position really to do anything with it. So Mark Hunt got the okay from him and the rights to develop um, Gangbusters as a next edition. He's going to keep the percental system, which is really nice. He's added a few tweaks about the characters. He added a couple of character classes, like something like Adventurous, Adventurous and stuff. He's also put a few more pulpish things in there, like the occult and weird stuff and weird science. If you want to go, you know, the Shandu Mandrake type stories from the pulps, which is okay. Or you can just keep it straight gangsters and, you know, prohibition and, uh, you know, depression, that kind of thing. So <clears throat> he is, he is expanding. I've got a few of his rules in my book that I use that I tried out and they work really well. He tried to standardize the percentile system, basically, and uh, it 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 works like gangbusters. Um, finding this game, okay. You're saying to my, you're saying to me, Glenn. Okay, you've hooked me. Where do I find him? Okay, I have pulled a couple of places because it is famously out of print. If you want the box set, um, 
I looked on Amazon as of this recording. The box set is starts at about 140 bucks. Um, the book, when you can find it, starts about $59. On eBay, for both, they start about 43 And let me tell you, these things can go into the sky. I've seen a couple thousand bucks just for the box set. I have a very brand new in shrink box set. Okay, fine. I don't need that. I need this. And I'm going to make you, and, you know, keep an eye out like on, you know, half price books and stuff because guess where I got this? Half price books, 10 bucks. So that is gangbusters. Go out, play it, have a lot of fun. Okay. And please tell me, tell me all about this at, G, at uh, oldmangrognard at gmail.com. It's a fun game and you really should try it out. So until next time, bye bye. <laughs>